Okay, so welcome back to my adventures in Thailand. In this video, we're going to be talking about um, putting a fence around your property and building a front wall and a gate. So yeah, watch your space. Yucky mesh. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to talk about the fence that we had built. Uh, we're going to go into the costs involved, uh, what materials were used, and how it was done. The, the fence was about 400 meters long, and it covered six and a half rye of land, which is basically 80 meters by 120 meters, which is nearly 10,000 square meters. We pretty much went for the cheapest option we could on everything that we bought and uh, the labor as well. We really didn't want this to cost a lot of money. So um, the cost of the posts were 70 baht each. The local builder's merchant discounted from 75 because we were buying so many and we were using them quite a lot for everything. There was a total of 140 posts. They were spaced three meters apart. And so therefore they cost about 10,000 baht for the lot. Um, they were about two meters long which gave um, uh, the height of the fence uh, we wanted was 1.5, so 500 mil was to go into the ground. The fencing that we used wasn't your normal sort of chain mail fence that you find everywhere, but this had was with square holes and they got uh, they were smaller at the bottom and they got bigger at the top. This was 2,000 baht for 30 meters, whereas the chain mail was 1,000 baht for five meters meaning that 30 meters of the chain mail would have been 6,000 baht and we were getting the same for 2,000 baht, saving us 4,000 baht per 30 meters. Uh, with 400 meters, we used 13 of these. 13 times 2,000 baht is 26,000 baht. So um, of the materials so far, we've got uh, 36,000 baht. And if I said that there was maybe 4,000 baht spent on concrete, cement, and ballast, then I would say my materials came in at about 40,000 baht, and I think that would be a pretty good estimate. With regards to labor, we got some friends of friends, some local lads to come in. They gave us a quote on doing it. We did some bartering back and forth. I think they asked for 38 to start with. We ended up at 32. 32,000, I think it probably took them about five days and there was maybe four or five of them that did it. I didn't care too much because <laughs> what it meant was I wasn't digging the holes. And uh, I'll tell you, it is hot out there. So yeah, uh, 32,000, I thought that was a really good price for what they were doing. Um, I know our builder, he char he was wanted to charge a lot more. So yeah. So the total amount for the whole fence, 400 meters of fence, came in at 70,000 baht. Now, uh, we used concrete for filling in the hole. So they dug a 500 mil hole, uh, 500 mil in depth, and put concrete in. And then they put the posts in, obviously made sure they were level, made sure they were uh, the right way orientated and then wait, waited for them to dry, and then they put the uh, the fence around. So yeah, pretty simple. I'm gonna quickly talk about why we're having a fence put in. But as you might have guessed, or as you probably know, in Thailand, dogs are allowed to sort of roam free. And these dogs, all of these properties here, and here, and over there, they've all got dogs. Seems like they've got a lot of dogs. And we keep on coming onto our land and messing up the chili, chili plants and the irrigation system, like biting stuff, digging holes, digging up plants, you know, general stuff that's pretty annoying. So we're having to put a fence in. Oh, there you go. That's a pure example. This is a pure example of why we want a fence. There you go. Dog on our land. He doesn't know, you know, what's he, you know, you can't sort of go up to him and say, look, you can't come in here, you know, but um, we don't want him in here, so we're having to put a fence up. 
So yeah, this was a this was a through fare for people that people were driving through from there, through down down here over on our land, I presume. Get off my land! So they were going driving down there to access. There's only a few properties around here, you know. So they were doing that, and I didn't really want to cut their access off, but you know. It is our land, so we can do whatever we want. I didn't really want to antagonize people. This guy here has been farming, so up to about here, and he was adamant that um, where his land was was right over, <laughs> right over to the sort of left here, to the other side of this road. So to to this side of the road, you know, he was absolutely adamant. And we got these land registry people, and they they found the actual marker that was already put in there. So there was absolutely no arguments about it. This is where the mark is. This is your land. This is my land. So, um, yeah, I didn't really want to antagonise him too much. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> what can you do? But it's our land, so we're, um, we're having a fence it in. Coming on, the posts are up and the bricks are down, the first layer of bricks, and then I think they're gonna do another, what I'd call a lintel, but they're gonna do another bit of concrete on the top here. And then we're gonna have some sort of grill or railing around here. So that would be good. They're gonna pour some concrete in there. And about this wall here, I think we've got a quote from a builder, I think I'll have to come back to you on that. I know the, I know the gates and the metal cost about twenty thousand baht. I think he charged an extra fifteen thousand to build the wall, uh, but he's done a good job and I'm quite happy. So I think this wall actually cost about a thousand pounds or one thousand three hundred dollars. Um, I think the gates got thrown in in that price as well. So this is the wall that's, and the gates that's been finished. Um, the gate is on rollers. I'll just sort of show you how that works. It could have been, it could have come, we could have spent an extra 20,000 baht or maybe got it for 15, I don't know and had that as an automatic gate where you just press a button and it turns and a motor comes in i mean that probably would have doubled the price of the <laughs> doubled the price of the gate or been more expensive than the gate in the middle okay so that's pretty much it for this video if you've got any comments or you want to ask me any questions about um, building uh, this fence then or or the the situation you've got or you want any advice just Please just drop me a message in the comments section and I'll try and get back to you on it. Um, obviously, there are loads more options. There's much more expensive options. You can have a whole uh, wall like this all around your property where you've got the bottom section is actual bricks and mortar and um, you've got your fencing at the top. Um, obviously, that's going to come in a lot more expensive. This is a completely budget kind of lowest uh, price. You probably could have... I probably could have put the, the fence in myself and saved myself maybe 750 pound or like 3,000 baht or 30,000 baht. But, you know, 
I wasn't really prepared to do that. It's really quite hot here and I don't really want to be digging 130 holes 500 mil deep. So I pay for the labour and um, and get the job done. If you've um, liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. It's free. You don't have to pay anything to subscribe and um, set up the notification. That would be great. But um, that's it from here. Bye for now.